What's up everybody? Today we are gonna be talking about making a cocktail that's been inspired by the modern classic, Black Manhattan. Now, everybody's aware of what the standard Manhattan is. If you wanna know more about that, check out the video right here. But the standard Black Manhattan is gonna come with a little bit of rye and some Amaro in place of the sweet vermouth. Sometimes we like to call that the Mr. Potato Head method where we're swapping out one ingredient for the other or splitting up the volume of one ingredient with multiple ingredients. The cocktail we're gonna be talking about today is gonna to be the monochromatic. Now this is a whiskey-based cocktail, but we're gonna be using Kansas City whiskey. Uh, we will be using some Amaro, our Cafe Amaro, and then we're gonna be splitting up some more of that vermouth volume using some Pedro Jimenez Sherry and some dry Curacao. You also see some sugar and a little bit of bitters in there as well to make sure that we get the right body and the nice little spice that we know and love from these style of cocktails. So grab your tools, grab your ingredients, and let's get started. So the monochromatic being a whiskey-based cocktail, just like the Manhattan and the black Manhattan, is gonna be utilizing a whiskey base. We're gonna be using one and a half ounces of Rieger's Kansas City whiskey. Then we're gonna be using a half ounce of Cafe Amaro. Follow that by some Pedro Jimenez Sherry, approximately a half ounce. And then finishing it off with a quarter ounce of Pierre Fron Dry Curacao. We're gonna add a little bit of body by using some two to one Demerara syrup and give it that salt and pepper, sugar and spice by, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I always talk about bitters as like the salt and pepper on a steak. It's the seasoning, that's yeah. what I should have said. All right, so let's give this thing a taste. Obviously right up front, we're getting really good kind of lemon aromatics. Uh, the backbone of this cocktail being Kansas City whiskey and there being some sherry added in there as well. Really good nuttiness, fig, raisin, toffee characteristics. And then it's kind of all harmonized together using some of that Pierre Fren dry curacao, amplifying some more of the citrus notes. Uh, but uh, really just kind of smoothing everything out and, and just making it a really silky experience. All right, y'all, that was the monochromatic. If you like this video and want to see some more stuff like it, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. <laughs>